Welcome back to my channel and in this video we discuss a very small topic from basic biomechanics. We were having an extensive discussion about the basic biomechanics, important topics in basic biomechanics and today we discuss yet another important topic from basic biomechanics which is about the contact forces or the action reaction forces or the interaction forces. It is a very simple concept but it is quite important because they can ask you in some MCQ question can be asked in university examinations as a short note question so let us discover what is actually the contact forces or action reaction forces or interaction forces in the most simplified manner concept of action force reaction force or interaction forces is based on the newton's third law and i know that uh, this is the a law of Newton among the first, second and third law. This is the law that everyone would be remembering. That is, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. For example, I deliver you quality contents. You watch my channel. At the end of the video, you might subscribe to my channel and I get the benefit of it. That's uh, what you call action reaction or uh, what you call every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Since only I deliver you quality content, you watch my channel. Okay, uh, that's just joke. So whatever it is, uh, Newton's third law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So when we consider an object, for example, when I consider an object, Okay, when an object is acting a force on another object, for example, let my hand be the first object and let this board be the second object. When my hand is exerting a force on the board, it's fine. There is a force hand on the board. But as per the Newton's law, the board should exert the same force back on my hand. That is, whenever two objects are contacting each other, the objects should exert equal and opposite forces on each other or when an object or when a object a contacts another object b the object b also should exert a force which is equal and opposite to the force exerted by object a on b clear should I explain it once again? Whenever two objects are contacting or when an object A, my hand, is exerting a force on object B, the object B must exert a force which is equal and opposite to the force exerted by my hand on the board. Clear? So these forces are known as what you call action-reaction pair or action-reaction forces. Why? Because you know that there is an action. The action is my hand on the board. If that action is not there, this force is not going to happen. If, that's, if, that, if I'm not pulling, pushing onto this wall, the wall won't exert a force back on me. So wall to exert a force back on me, I should push on the wall that is the action and it is a reaction the wall or the board exerting back on force back on me that is a reaction so these forces are known as a, what you call the action reaction forces and the same forces are also known as interaction pair because there is an action force there is a reaction force they act as a paired object they act as a paired forces uh, that is why they are known as the interaction pair why do you call interaction because they are conducting each other they are conducting each other only because of that contact that forces is arising only because of that interaction between the forces that contact is arising force is arising so we call it as the interaction pair so what is it interaction pair also we can call it as the reaction forces either the action force can also be defined as a reaction because to exert the wall for the wall to exert a force on me i should exert a force back on the wall so both can be also considered as reaction forces so these three concepts are essentially the same these three concepts are essentially the same. The three words are essentially the same. What are they? The action reaction forces or interaction forces or reaction forces are all the same part of the coin. Whenever two objects are contacting each other. So the important criterion over here is that the objects should objects should contact each other. The contact each other. That is the, or you can write down this as the characteristics of uh, action reaction forces. Characteristics. 
what is that the first one needs that uh, the objects should contact each other for example if i'm putting my hand over the space like this uh can i accept a force back on the wall on to me no absolutely no for this action reaction force to exert or exist the force has to be forces has to be in contact with each other so the first criterion over here is that the object or uh, should be in contact with each other the second condition is that the action reaction forces are in same line action reaction forces are in same line and opposite to each other and opposite to each other you know that right when i am exerting a force on this wall or the board the force exerted by wall is not through this direction but always in the same line and opposite not in the same direction but opposite direction so the action reaction forces are always in same line and opposite to each other always in same line and opposite to each other then the third thing is that these forces are acting on different objects and that gives some hint because you we had discussed the linear and concurrent force system if you are someone who is not who has not watched the linear and concurrent force system just go back to that and come back to this video later because that would help you so in linear and concurrent force system we define that one of the most important criterion or a uh, feature of the linear and concurrent force system was that the forces should be acting on the same segment whenever two forces are acting on the same segment are in line with each other or coplanar with each other then that is linear force system whenever two forces acting on the same segment are at an angle to each other then that is concurrent force system but here are they part of the same uh, object can you just think on for example this force a force a is acting on b right on the board whereas the force exerted by b is acting on the hand clear the force exerted by my this left hand is acting on the wall like this the force exerted by my wall is actually acting on my hand so force by hand is on the wall force exerted by wall back is on the hand hand and wall not in the hand itself not in the wall itself that means uh, the objects are uh, different so in action reaction forces the forces will be acting on different objects the not on the same object itself the action reaction forces the objects will be different uh, it acts on different object it act on different object and when it acts on different object they do not become a part of linear and concurrent force system or force systems they do not become a part of the force systems clear so they do not become a part of force system because to be a part of linear and concurrent force system first and important point is that they should act on the same object same segment same part of the body and here that is not the scenario and thus they do not become a part of linear or concurrent force system therefore they cannot be resolved or they cannot be resolved or they cannot be uh, what you call uh, uh, resolved each other or they cannot intersect each other okay so they are not the part of linear or concurrent force system and resolving of the forces is not uh, possible so these are some of the unique characteristics of uh, action reaction force or reaction force or interaction force whatever they ask you you can write down this that is the object should contact each other the say exert same uh, action in the same line and opposite to each other the different objects they act on two different objects therefore they are not part of a linear or concurrent force system and cannot be resolved what is the direction of this force the direction of the force is opposite to each other we saw this earlier direction of the force is opposite to each other so the direction of the force is opposite to each other am i clear so if they ask you this you can write down what is action or reaction forces you can say that it is based on newton's third law you can define what are the characteristics of this that's sufficient then there is another concept known as the contact forces or normal forces okay what is contact forces contact forces are a part of uh, interaction pair or action reaction pair or uh, uh, what you call reaction forces but they exist whenever two objects or one of the object or two of the objects are pushing each other 
What is that? Two of the objects are pushing each other. For example, when I am standing on this wall, uh, floor or tile, I am pushing on the tile. Then that forces are known as the contact forces. The four contact forces are forces which are part of action reaction forces or interaction pair. They exist only when two objects are pushing each other, not pulling each other. When I am dragging on something, it's not part of contact forces. It is a part of action reaction force. It's a part of interaction pair. For example, I have a rod over here and I'm pulling it like this. It's not a part of reaction contact force contact forces means or contact forces are a peculiar case or a specialized form of action reaction force whenever two objects are pushing each other pushing each other only then that forces are known as a contact forces if the forces are perpendicular to each other then they are known as normal force if the forces are perpendicular to each other they are known as normal force so this contact force and normal force can be defined as a part of or two subtypes of uh, what you call action reaction forces so even if they ask you contact force you can start writing with uh, what is action reaction force what is reaction force or what is interaction pair you can write down its characteristics and finally tell what is contact force or define contact force at first that is better and then go back to this one and write down the characteristics because the characteristics are same the only peculiarity is that here there is a word known as push they, whenever they push on each other here there is a word known as whenever they are perpendicular to each other so that's our discussion on this topic and if we summarize we can say that whenever two objects are contacting each other whenever two objects are contacting each other they must exert forces on each other not just one action whenever two objects are uh, contacting each other both objects should exert a force which is equal but opposite to each other on both the contacting objects so whenever contacting objects are there, there exists action reaction force or interaction force or interaction pair or reaction force. If in the interaction force or in the interaction pair or in the action reaction pair, if there is a pushing force, if one object is pushing on the other or both of them are pushing on each other, then that becomes a part of contact forces. The uh, force systems are not uh, to be applied to this one because they are acting on different circuits. That is, action reaction forces are not part of a same force system or act not acting on same object. Therefore, they cannot be considered to be a part of a same force system and cannot be resolved. And you can write down these other characteristics. Then it's fine, well, good. So even if asked about interaction pair, that is the same. Even if they ask a reaction force, that is the same. Even if they ask what is action reaction force it is the same and even if it is a action force that's the same thing here i hope that was informative if you like the video don't forget to click like button and kindly subscribe to my channel